first thing is just go ahead and remove both sets of screws from the bottom and top of the PlayStation Vita. They're just little tiny Phillips screwdriver screws, so pretty easy to remove. And then remove the four from the back. Uh, the ones in the back are going to be black. The ones on the top and bottom are silver. Once those screws have been removed, go ahead and either use a wedge tool or your hands in my case and lift very gently on the back cover. Be careful not to rip it off because you don't want to do any damage to the main board. Go ahead and remove the screen cable and the battery cable from the back of the Vita motherboard. Once the back is removed, go ahead and make sure there's no memory card still inserted into the motherboard. Next, go ahead and remove this metal plate. It's just two Phillips screws. Go ahead and just lift up on these two tabs. This will let the ribbon cable pop out. By pressing down on the little black tab right here, the board should just pop right up. There will be two screws here. Remove them and pop the old joystick right up. Go ahead and place your new joystick in the same hole and go ahead and just screw it right on. Okay, go ahead and place the board back on. Go ahead and put the ribbon cable back into the board and it's just like removing it you just slide it in and close the tab same at the bottom you may need some tweezers in my case just to make sure that little joystick cable gets in there all the way so i use little tweezers it really did help and then once that's done go ahead and just clip that in so go ahead and place the metal brackets back on with the two phillips screws Go ahead and make sure that these joysticks feel correct, everything feels good, and once you're satisfied, go ahead and place the top triggers back on. And we're going to place these mechanisms back in as well. Same thing on both sides. And now, very carefully put these cables back on. The motherboard um, they just clip right in so it's pretty easy to do so make sure those are clipped in and now we're going to gently lift up and it should just snap in place so using the magic of editing you're going to see that i placed all the screws back on and everything is back the way it should be and um, yeah so if you like this video click that like button and if you found it helpful go ahead and click that subscribe button there's much more content to come and much more on the channel just like this video thanks for watching bye